Athletes, welcome back. Like any quality snack, the highest quality tater tots. We got some quality programming for you today. We got step ups with a time requirement. So you're either gonna be doing some dumbbell power cleans or you're gonna be doing single leg RDLs. But whatever version you're doing, this is gonna be a race against the clock at the speed that you want. So get ready, get set. We got patience, we got Kevin. We're ready to work out with you. Warm up is coming up next. <gasps> Athletes, you got 10 seconds on the clock. We are starting with that warm up. We are going to heel toe rocks for 20 seconds in three, two, one, and go. So with our heel toe rocks, we're just getting that lower body warmed up because we have 120 step ups today which is gonna be a lot of steps. So when we go through, we're going up to our toes, back to our heels. When we get done with this, we are going to move to our boxes and do step ups, because what better way to warm up for step ups than doing step ups in three, two, one. Make your way to your step up location, and we are stepping up. Now, this is a little bit of a cerebral movement. I'm going to take a little bit longer than 20 seconds here so that you guys can get your timing and coordination down. We want to think about faster transitions being on top of the box versus on the floor. So if we watch what Patience does, she steps up, steps down, toe taps, comes up, and then she alternates the leg that she's going to step up with by switching on top of the box. If we swap on the floor, it adds a little bit of extra time. And for a couple reps, that won't make a big difference. But when we have 120 reps, you're looking at the difference of 30 to 40 seconds there. So make sure that you are paying attention your odd reps or your even side, or sorry, your odd reps or your left side, your even reps or your right side, whichever helps you think of that, that's how we're gonna keep track of it. Next, what we're gonna do is, is we're gonna go into our dumbbell our power cleans or our single leg RDLs. I'm gonna focus on patience for this round and then I'll go to Kevin on the next one. But with these power cleans, patience is gonna take the dumbbells down to the floor, touching one head of the dumbbell of each and then taking them up to her shoulders. On this, if we want to do a small redip to get underneath and absorb that weight, we can, but it needs to be a weight that we can pick up, do a set of six unbroken, and then get right back on our step ups. We're gonna go ahead and relax, and we're going back into our heel toe rocks. So onto our toes, back to our heels. We got another 20 seconds here. And on this, if we wanna add some bunny hops to open up those calves and those ankles, we can. If we wanna see Kevin give us some bunny hops, just like that. I love the eye contact he made with me. We were one for just a moment. We got patience over here. Give me some bunny hops. Just like that. And then we're going back to our step up. So I want to come back to our step ups. Now's the time. Practice that coordination. So we're stepping up to the box. We are alternating our feet on top so that that way we can save time on those transitions. With a workout like this where we've got a limited amount of time to get as many reps as possible, transitions matter. So if you're not thinking about this, ways that you can shave off some time so that you can get a couple extra reps in, you gotta do it because that is gonna save us from doing some extra RDLs or power cleans. Go ahead and relax. And now we're going back into our power cleans and our single leg RDLs with Kevin, having my full attention right now. With our single leg RDLs, what we're looking at doing is, is we wanna be nice and organized. So we make ourselves nice and long. We point that toe and make sure that our body is active all the way through. If we get a little bit of the wiggles when we're going down, that is okay. But we're looking at when we come down, we wanna stay organized with that chest up, going down, not to the floor, but where our range of motion allows so that we can keep that back straight. If I go to a place that I have to round out my back, I've gone too far. Go ahead and relax. And then we're going into our last round here. We're gonna go into our heel toe rocks and this is our bonus round. So heel toe rocks, I'm not giving you time domains. You gotta to listen to what's gonna happen. We're going into bunny hops now. Bunny hops, bunny hops, bunny hops. And heel toe rocks. And step ups, bring it back to your step ups. Now let's get to our workout speed on these step ups. So I want you to move quick here. You gotta get full extension and show control at the top and then right back down. And then we're going back to our power cleans and our RDLs. With these RDLs, if you need assistance, you can use an object like a box and we can go down and we can make contact with it there so that you can stabilize yourself. Make that movement work for you and make it a little bit challenging so that you get some benefit out of it. We're resting in three, two, one, and relax. That is it. The warm, out, or warm up is over. The oven just dang or dinged or dung or whatever the past tense of ding is because the tater tots are ready. The workout is coming your way. So get set, get ready. The fitness is now. Athletes, your workout is here. We've got 10 seconds. 
You are starting on your power cleans or RDLs and then you're getting right into your step ups in three, two, one, go. Now we had a little bit of friendly competition talk before this workout. I've got Kevin saying he's gonna beat Patience in this workout and Patience is not having it. So we got Kevin going through six total RDLs to a target. We gave him a water bottle, so he's got something to aim for. And then we've got Patience on her dumbbells doing six total power cleans. Now athletes are counting their reps here. Kevin, you better be counting. I know you're not counting right now, that's five. So I need you guys to make sure at the top, we lock our knees out, open our hips at the top. You gotta stand tall for it to count as a rep, but you are counting all of your reps on this workout until we get to 120. Your reps are cumulative. So every two minutes, I am going to tell you two minutes and you're gonna go and you're gonna either do your RDLs or your power cleans. It's a speed bump in the middle of this workout because the workout is 120 step ups. Every two minutes, including that zero mark, we have to stop and we have to do our paired movement with this. So both athletes are working through their 120 and we know that they're counting accurately in the zone. We've got one, we've got 50 seconds left before we hit our first or our second power clean and RDL period. I've got both athletes standing tall at the top of their box and then going back down. We have 35 seconds before we have, and I don't even want to call it a penalty time, but it's going to be your extra work. That's what we're going to call it. It's your, it's your extra credit assignment that you got to get to. So again, 120 reps here. You have to be strategic in how you're doing this because we need to move fast on our RDLs and our power cleans but not so fast that we mess that form up or we start to break it into a movement that it is not. I gotta see perfect form. I will be no repping our athletes here if they go too fast. We got three, two, one, and to your power cleans and your RDLs. Show me good form here. We've got RDLs for Kevin, keeping himself balanced. This can be a very tough movement. Don't try to add weight to this movement until you can do it with body weight. And we got patients flying through her power cleans. I think that Kevin's motivational talk at the beginning of how he's like, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna be done way sooner than patients is, has really pushed her to move faster. I need Kevin to make sure he stands up all the way at the top of that box because a victory is not a victory unless you do full range of motion through the workout. Patience is in the zone. She is locked in. And we are alternating legs on those step ups, making sure we're getting our hips open at the top, Kevin. And then it is our full range, getting all the way through. And again, we are adding our reps from the first two minutes and we're continuing on with that count. And we are getting to 120. When you hit 120 reps, you are done. So if you were able to do 120 step ups in that first two minute period, you're already done with this workout. Is that realistic or possible? Probably not. So you guys are continuing to add on, trying to hit a consistent number every two minutes that we go through this. We have 35 seconds left on the clock and then we are going back into our extra credit of our power cleans and our RDLs. I don't want to talk to the athletes because I don't want to mess their counts up. But I'm so, <laughs> I'm so excited to see who wins. We've got 20 seconds left on the clock and then we are going into that extra credit. And I'm telling you, step ups are no joke. You think that this is an easy movement because it's unweighted, but those glutes and hamstrings are firing off right now. We got 10 seconds, and then you got your extra credit coming your way in five, and three, two, one. Extra credit, we got RDLs for Kevin, we got power cleans for Patience, and Patience is already in to her reps. Wow, no rep, Kevin, we gotta clean that up. That's one, oh, that's no rep either. Kevin, come on, you're falling apart. <laughs> Kevin, please, that's one. That's two, good, when that chest drops, leg goes back. That's three, I'll count that one, but you're getting close. Four, there was control there. We've got five, let that chest go down. There we go, that was your best rep, that's six. Back on those step ups, let's go. I feel like patience has secured this victory. You gotta stand all the way up, Kevin. I'm giving you one no rep. Subtract one from whatever your total was because you knew that was not a good rep. We are getting all the way to the top and showing full extension. Make yourself as tall as you possibly can. Patience is not smiling at all. 
because all she has is that she wants to hear the cry of defeat in Kevin's voice at the end of this workout because she is going to be victorious here. We got both athletes working off that 120 total and these work times get faster and faster and faster. We already have our 50 second countdown before we get to our next extra credit assignment. Make sure that you're giving me that full extension at the top of our box. I see the, Kev I see the sweat dripping off of Kevin right now because I think he feels how much trouble he got himself into challenging patience on this. We have 30 seconds left. Is patience done? And patience is done. Man, patience, what are you gonna do with all this time while you're waiting for Kevin to get done? <laughs> Am I right, Kevin? We got 20 seconds and please know that we encourage everyone at home to go at your own pace. Kevin started friendly competition before the camera started rolling saying how he was gonna get like an umbrella drink and everything and we are done with all the time he had left. So great job, athletes, patience, awesome job. Kevin, wonderful job. Athletes, if you're still going, please keep working. It's your two minute period right now. So if you got extra credit, you gotta complete, finish it up. Even if you have one rep left, you gotta do that extra credit. So keep working all the way through. You've got your two minute times that you do need to do that extra credit on until you get your 120 reps done. If you guys finish with us, wonderful job. If you're still working, wonderful job now and when you're done, you get it twice. So thank you so much for joining us. We got your cool down coming up next. Athletes, once again, you did a wonderful job today. We love the effort that we saw. Thank you so much for bringing the fitness. We always enjoy this time with you and we hope that this is, if your first time, you come back and join us again. If it's your 10th time, we love seeing you here every day. Now, we got a seven day free trial and I gotta say that because that is the most important thing I can tell you right now, that you can continue these workouts every single day with a group of like-minded athletes. And if you just worked out, I hate to break the news to you, you are an athlete. So don't try to tell me that you're not of where you can start your fitness journey today and become a little bit fitter, a little bit stronger, a little bit tougher for anything that life can throw your way or make it all the way to the competition floor. The Mayhem Athlete community is a group of like-minded athletes that will encourage you along the way to your goals and let you have a blast while doing it. You'll see Kevin there, you'll see Patience there, so join us today. Now, we got the cooldown listed here. If this is your first time with us, this is where I get serious because you have to do your cool down. It's so easy to skip this part. I know you, like in the back, yeah, you, you were about to walk out and not finish this video. Your body just took care of you, so stick around, do the cool down, because it will serve you well. As always, be good, be kind, and join us again for another great day of fitness.